two, one, two, three, four. This is Justin Branham for MasterFiddle.com. In this lesson, we're going to learn the classic fiddle tune, Stony Point, on the mandolin. So, Stony Point is one of those fiddle tunes that fits really well on the mandolin, and it's been recorded um, in a bunch of different situations with the mandolin. The two recordings um, that are most famous to me that have mandolin on them are Tommy Jackson's recording, I think from the 50s, and I'm not sure who the mandolin player is on that. It could be Red Rector or Hank Garland. Hank Garland was a famous guitarist who also played mandolin. And then uh, the other one is Tony Rice's Manzanita album, which has this tune on it as a flat pick and guitar tune feature, but also has a great mandolin solo, I think, by David Grisman on there. So uh, those are some sort of classic recordings with the mandolin, and I use those as inspiration for this version. And we've got uh, kind of one time through of sort of a basic melody version and then a little bit of a variation, mostly on the um, what I'm going to call the A part for this version, which we actually have flipped from the traditional fiddle tune version. So let's just talk about the form really quick on this because there are some things that are going to be different. So as a fiddle tune, what we would call the A part or the first part is usually this. But in the um, flat picking guitar version, a lot of times people will actually start on the B part, which sounds great too, and that's a common thing to switch the parts around just to make it different. And so the B part is the E minor section where it goes. So for this version, that is gonna be our A part. And I'm gonna call it the A part. And this, that's gonna be our B part. All right, so depending on who you're playing with, those parts could get switched around. The other thing that happens sometimes because the B part is, is short melodically, the, the whole phrase is, That's it. So if you want it to be the length that a typical fiddle tune is, you have to play that phrase four times. Okay, so you, you could look at it as two times and then repeat it, or you can think of it as you play it four times. And um, because it's so long, sometimes people will play that just twice, that phrase twice. Um, they'll play it one more time. And then that's it, they don't repeat it. And so then they use the A part to fill in the missing bars that need to be there if you were gonna play it for maybe a square or a contra dance. So if it's used for dancing, everything has to be kind of symmetrical and even. So they'd go back and put one of those on the end of it, just one time through. So the form of it ends up being A, A, B, A, instead of A, A, B, B, which is how most fiddle tunes are. We're gonna do it uh, with each part played twice. So we have the parts reversed and we're playing it twice. It's a little confusing, I know, but if you just listen to some of those versions, you can find them on YouTube if you look them up and you can hear the difference. Just something to be aware of when you play this with other people that they may change the form and may have one part be first or second. Um, there's also a third part that gets played sometimes. I'm not teaching that in this version because it's a little unusual, but um, there is a third part to this tune as well. So let's get our first phrase. It sounds like this. Okay, that's our first two measure phrase. And all of this is gonna be alternate pick where we have exceptions, I'll show you that. And if we have a quarter note followed by an eighth note, we'll hit the quarter note down 
and then start the phrase over on a downstroke. Okay, so we'll have right there as an example. Now the first uh, four notes we've got B to E and then B to E again. <clears throat> so that's a first finger on the open on the A string on the second fret, and we go to open E, and then we do that again. So you could go down, 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 down is one way to do that. Or you could go down, up, up, down. And I do it both ways. You could alternate pick it. So that'd be down, up, down, up. Those all work. And I use all of those. It just kind of depends on how fast I'm playing it and what kind of feel I want. This is probably the strongest, the two downs. And then I would hit another downstroke to start the next phrase out where I, I'm picking eighth notes and alternate picking. Okay, so those the first two notes, when that happens again, we'll, we'll just pick which one you like the best. Try ball and see which you like better. Maybe start with down, 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 down. Okay, so we've got, then open E again, first finger, second fret, and then we're gonna do a pull off here. Um, this is a three note pull off. So it's second finger, third fret. I'm sorry, yeah, second finger, third fret. Had to think about that for a second. Second finger, third fret, first finger, second fret to open E, and we're gonna hit one pick stroke down. Then when you move your second finger to your first finger, you're gonna pull it off, okay? And then when you hit the first finger, you're actually gonna use that first finger to get the open E, and you're gonna, as you pull that finger off, you're gonna kind of pluck the E string. So we get this. That way we hear all three notes. So the first one is, is really a pull-off. And then this is kind of a, a pull-off where we use the finger to actually pluck the string as we take it off. So I'm actually plucking the E string with my first finger. So it's... And you can even do that from the second finger to the first finger if you want to make that more pronounced. You can practice it like that too. You can put your second finger down and then just kind of pull it off and pluck it down towards the floor. And you can hear those notes better that way. So, okay, then we're gonna hit a D sharp. This is a high third finger if, if you're a fiddle player. Um, so this is gonna be the third finger on the sixth fret of the A string. Then first finger on the second fret of the E string. Open E. Third finger on the A string on the fifth fret. First finger on the second fret. Open A. Okay, so that phrase again is 